happy news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. EFCC trace 7 billion fraud proceeds to religious body. They did not say the religious body because they know that it will lead to a serious, you know, contention in the country and it could lead to, you know, much more than you can imagine. And the best thing would be to just keep it quiet. Let's not even talk about it. Let's just allow things go the way they are. So that's what EFCC have done. They've been absolutely quiet and nobody exactly is saying anything. And, you know, they just decide to say, you know what, let's leave it as it is and let's be quiet about it. So this is exactly what is going on and every single person can see. So EFCC have now um, tracked the 7 billion fraud proceeds to, you know, a religious body. And what follow next which will shock you. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Olukayode, on Wednesday disclosed that seven billion has proceeds of fraud has been tracked to a religious organization. Olukayode said at, it, at a public engagement on youth religion and the fight against corruption and the launch of the fraud risk assessment project for ministries department and agencies. The EFCC chairman said the commission was investigating a fraud case of 3 billion when it tracked the 7 billion to the religious body, who quickly obtained a restraining order stopping EFCC from inviting the leaders of the religious body for questioning. Oluka Yodifoda said the commission will not give up on the investigation as it's appealing the restraining order to recover the stolen funds. How can you keep money with a religious body leader? He disclosed that another unnamed religious body was also linked to money laundry for a terrorist body, which has been killing and destroying Nigerians and Nigeria for a long time. This religious body also hold money for these terrorists. The EFCC chairman also revealed that since the assumed, the assumed office as the e, as he, since he assumed office as the EFCC chairman about three months ago, the commission has rescued seven four seven conviction, lamenting the high number of convictions. The EFCC chairman said most of them were from internet related offenses. It would be noted that the one day event is aimed at addressing the challenges of youth involvement in cyber crime and how religion could be used as a weapon for their reorientation. The event heard the theme, Youth, Religion, and the Fight Against Corruption. It features launch of the Interfaith Preaching and Teaching manual developed by the Interfaith Anti-Corruption Advisory Committee, IAAC, of the Commission as a, as a resource to prompt adhesion for corruption among adhesion to two religious bodies, Islam and Christianity. The Commission Fraud Risk Assessment prevent the control of projects for ministries, departments, agencies, and DEAs were also launched at the event. So this is what is happening right now, my lovely people. This is what is going on. And every single person can see that um, beyond what you can imagine, you know, EFCC chairman is telling us that he was shocked that they were tracing one three billion. And before they could say Jack Robinson, it went beyond. Then they saw another seven billion, which was being taken away traced the whole thing, they found out that it was just it was beyond, you know, just saying uh the money was missing. They found out that another religious body, you know, has gone ahead and you know money was money was missing. Plenty money was missing and a religious leader was involved. And guess what? Quickly, quickly they had what we call a restraining order so that they will not come and investigate the matter. You know, they had a, a, you know, a restraining order and, uh, you know, they he said they are going to take what we call, you know, they are going to uh, appeal the restraining order. And guess what? Court was also quick to give them. That's why our lawyers, you know, these judges, the judiciary system in this country, they must use their number six. They must be able to use their number six. We must understand it. 
they must be able to use their number six for us to understand what's going on. Yeah? We, we, we need to work together. We need to ensure that, you know, things are done properly. How can you tell me, okay, how can you tell me that, you know, uh, somebody somewhere is taking all that belongs to Nigerians and nobody's saying anything? Everybody's just quiet. Everybody's just quiet. Judiciary, whether you like it or not, there is more that is going on than you can ever imagine. You know, there's more going on than you can ever imagine. People took money. And before you could say, <clears throat> let's go rec retrieve the money, we have found out that this money have no basis of leaving the bank and all that. The people have armed themselves with what we call restraining order. And I'm not saying no, look at your days, they sent by, by, by the way, but at least he was able to find this out. Do you know that if really, truly, sincerely, we want to make this country a better place, every single person will have to own up to saying, you know what, if you are caught, you're on your own. I'm telling you, every single individual will have to own up and say, you know what, if you are caught, you're on your own. But guess what? Cover up upon cover up. If this was Buhari's time, uh, I don't know who this person is or this religious body. As soon as, you know, we don't know who they are. As soon as, uh, you know, there, there, there's an, there is an exposition that they took money that belongs to the nation. Before you know it, the restraining order, that's where the matter will die a natural death. Nobody will hear about the matter again. You know, Olukayo uh, Day, uh, CJ and, and the rest of you, you people should do more. You people need to do more. When you are giving restraining order, what are you giving it for? Is it for the country or against the country? We are talking about money, money being injected into the nation, and yet uh, a religious body, in quote and unquote, you know, fraudulently took seven billion that belongs to the country. And when they are trying to retrieve the money, you guys did what? You are covering them. Welcome, oh. well done for doing what you do. Okay, well done for doing what you do. And it is important that we understand this so that at the end of the day, you know, truth is revealed and we can truly, sincerely know where we are headed. Okay? As a nation, as a people, we must know where we are headed. If we want this nation, if we want things to be different, we will have to begin to operate on, the, on, the, on, a, new, on a new note and stop the same thing we've been doing over and over again that have not profited us up, profited us up until now. If there is any time, Every single person needs to arise. It is now more than ever before so that we can do that which is needed, which is true, which is just, and which will move us forward, you know, for every single person. That's the way, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. It's not just, you know, leaving things to chance and thinking, no, 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 we can't do that. We just can't do that. We just can't do that. Every single individual has got something to offer and we must look upon that very carefully so that we all can do what is needed. You know, we all can do what is needed and bring this nation to where it needs to be. Yes? So it is what it is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so it is important that every one of us do everything needed, humanly speaking, possible to get us to where we need to get to. So at the end of the day, Nigeria can be a better place. Please don't forget you are important. And every one of us have got something to offer so that we can have a nation that is free, that is ready, you know, to, to, to move forward and to advance. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, is bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Remember, God bless, have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.